hi welcome back in today's episode i will be doing this look and i will be using the morphe 35h palette i hope that you enjoyed this video today i hope you take some kind of inspiration i tried to film this video about three times and it was a disaster even today it was kind of mm, not all there but i think i recovered <laughs> i think it turned out okay so if this is something that you are interested in then stay tuned i am starting off with my milk and makeup watermelon brightening serum and putting that everywhere And then I'm using my Estee Lauder Daywear and I'm gonna put that also everywhere. <laughs> So I'm going to use my Smashbox Minimizing Pores Primer and I'm just going to put that here, here, chin, nose, and forehead and just blend it out. I'm going to use my Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. It's in the shade Porcelain. I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk sponge and I just got this. I'm really excited about this. Mel Thompson uses this in a lot of her videos and I found her video of her favorite sponges and brushes and I will link it so you can watch it if you want. Now I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to conceal all my darkness. And again, the same sponge. I feel like this sponge is really big. <laughs> but maybe just because it's a new sponge, I'm just not used to it yet. You will find out. To set my face, I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush and my Beauty Bakery flower. Better, not bitter. It's in the shade Translucent. I'm going to use my JH02 brush and my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rosewood and this has been my favorite brush to bronze with. It's just, it's been perfect. It's like the perfect shape. It's the perfect density. I just, I really, I just really love this brush. It's really good. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna do a little tiny bit on my forehead. Even though you can't see it, but I don't know. I still feel, even though it's kind of like in secret, I still feel it should have something. <laughs> this is just perfect. I love it. So now I'm going to contour using my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I'm going to use the lightest shade and brush number four from the BH Cosmetics um, brush kit. And I'm going to use the two darker shades to do my jawline. I'm going to use my sponge to clean up the edge with some setting powder. So I'm just going to leave that for a little bit. Just a little bit of time. And I'm gonna contour again with the lightest shade in the palette using my E62 nose contour brush. So I'm just going down the edges of my nose, on the bottom part, I'm making it super thin. 
I know this much is true. Mm -hmm. And I like to go across here. Oops, right there. Just to make it look more. And of course, blend that out. And a little more on the bottom. Now I'm gonna use my JH04 to dust this off because we don't need it anymore. There have been two shades that I have been loving and it is Ocean Drive, which is this beautiful like greenish shade and then this one right there and that one's called heat up so I just did my eyebrows real quick off camera and we're just gonna start because I messed up this eye already twice two times we're taking the shade heat up on the M441 brush let's just put it in our crease yeah that's pretty Ooh. And let's wing it out a bit. Let's wing it out a lot. And I'm bringing it all the way up to my eyebrow. Because is there any other way? So I'm going to bring that also here into the corner of my lid outer corner and make sure it comes all the way in here because let's get crazy with it now I'm gonna take the shape party on let's do the same thing just keep it a little bit more concentrated on the crease area so we're just deepening that pink shade a bit and blending it out towards the eyebrow. Now we're using the shade off the grid on this same brush. So let's keep that in the crease. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Now I'm gonna use the M124 brush and I'm gonna cut my crease using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So I'm just using the shade Heat Up to help blend this out. And then I'm gonna put the shade Party On closer to the edge. We're gonna use this shade called Outfit Change. I'm gonna use my finger to pack on that shade. There is some fallout with that shade. Now I'm using the shade off the grid on my M441 and I'm just gonna blend this edge out because that shade got a little messy. For the bottom, I'm gonna use this number five brush from the BH Cosmetics and the shade Party On, or I'm gonna smoke that out on the bottom. Now I'm going to use brush number 9 from the BH Cosmetics brush kit and the shade off the grid and I'm going to put that close to my lash line and then smoke it out with the number 5 brush. Now I'm going to use the JH43 brush and the shade Alter Ego and I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to highlight my inner corner with my JH39 and the shade Stiletto. So real quick, I'm gonna catch up the other eye and I will be right back. Now I'm gonna use my Tartiste liner to do a huge, huge wing. I'm just gonna do the other side real quick. So now I'm gonna tight line with the other side um, really quick. 
here and the bottom. So I went ahead and curled my lashes and I used my Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte. But I'm gonna use this and my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ash Brown. I'm just gonna put some freckles. I'm gonna press my face so that there's no excess that transfers when I use blush. I'm gonna use my Jouer blush kit and I'm gonna use my M405 brush. This is my favorite brush for blush because it's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna use the shade Adore Me and I'm gonna put it here in this area. And I'm just going to put that under my nose, on the sides, and above this little contour. And I'm going to put the shade Treasure Me right above, right here on my cheeks, here, and here. Just to make it a little bit more glowy. For highlights, I'm going to use my A23 brush and the Emery Z highlighter. So I'm using the Anastasia lipstick in the shade Spice. All right, and I'm gonna use my setting spray to set everything. So this is it, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff you guys love to do. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.